Chainsaw Man, episode 11. Aki makes a deal with the, the future devil. Maybe. Probably. I wonder if one of them isn't Makima. She definitely had foresight on that train attack. A little ironic that... The one making a deal with the future devil is the man without much of a future. Oh, he's gonna like Aki though. Aki does not have a lot to lose. Mirai Psycho! Mirai Psycho! I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. <laughs> Alright, he seems fun. I don't know why I never made the connection before, but the, the shot of the chainsaw coming out of his head reminds me of FLCL pulling the guitar. There's something oddly sexual about both of those, as weird as it is to say. Oh, that's... We've seen him. We've seen the, the future devil in the intro. I just thought he was dancing because everyone's dancing in the intro, but it just seems like he's he's like that. I don't know if he's gonna like Aki. <laughs> Aki just killed the whole mood. Yeah. What a downer. <laughs> no thanks. With Aki's luck, they're gonna end up sharing an apartment. And he is not gonna clean up his feces. Turns out he didn't need to do this. Future Devil just enjoys this. Oh no, when someone laughs at your whole future. <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean... I believe it. I believe it. Now we're gonna find out. Damn, I'm excited and pumped for this badass death. Now get in my eye. <laughs> oh yeah, meanwhile, Denji and Power getting their asses kicked. Well, that's one hell of a training exercise. Some actual gratitude from Denji for his teacher. This is such a bizarre dynamic, just from the way they were introduced and him telling her to shut it. She wanted it to happen. It benefited her. This sounds like a warning. Big doubt. What is she really after? Yeah, that's too small for her. She has a much bigger plan, much bigger agenda. I think that's part of what makes all this easy for her. For real, her power is something else. Welcome to my villain academia. I'm sure that won't get out of control. This all seems very manageable. Oh no, this guy. <laughs> His tact, A+. Hey Aki, remember that time that... You failed and everyone you love died? You remember that, Aki? <laughs> the hell's his deal? Oh, he's talking about his It's so cool how even without much changing in his outside demeanor and delivery of what he's saying and his tone just immediately i guess especially given the context it's kind of chilling to hear aki talk like he's so transformed yeah he really has a, a singular vision singular purpose get out of this man's way big doubt this guy's just pissed off he can't stick a docky anymore Hey, there you go. That, why does that feel so good? That's so much better. <laughs> no true words were ever spoken by anyone in the show. Seems like that was a little bit of just a test. Can't wait to see what Aki does with the, the future devil. Translation, please don't smush me from a remote location. Please don't smush me, Makima. <laughs> Oh, 
What does the Gun Devil want with money? Yeah, also that was not a lot of money. What is that, like 200 bucks? The Gun Devil needs about 350. <laughs> we still have prisoners left over, right? She didn't use all of them. This is just a loaded gun. It's all their heads. They're all gonna get smushed anyway. They're all gonna get smushed. Well, you have a choice. You could not cooperate and get smushed, or you can cooperate and get smushed. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh! He just blew smoke right in her face. That was bold. Of course, those damn foreigners are the biggest threat. <laughs> smush, smush! <laughs> They're all gonna get smushed. Wow, you really misread the situation, didn't you? And that was the moment he fell in love and also pooped his pants. Damn, with just a look. Damn, what the hell? Interesting. Interesting. What the heck? I think what we got here is a classic Attack on Titan case of who gets to decide. Honestly, this is a classic villain thing that is more pervasive in real life than I think is immediately obvious. For the greater good is such a classic blanket excuse for just everything terrible. What's so intriguing about that scene though is to hear Makima taking the stance of a greater good for society given the fact that she's no angel herself. I think what does give her some credibility though in that scene is that there's a different level of mastery to her. I think villains work well and actually end up becoming respectable in a certain sense when they're fully aware, connected, and capable to what they're doing. The Yakuza boss, he hasn't thought it all the way through. It just comes across as sort of excuses and ignorance. Makima knows exactly what is going on, has a clear goal, is probably able to affect an outcome in the way she wants to. I felt the same way about Kimberly in Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, Kimberly's just the worst, you know, he's terrible, but he knows exactly what he is. There's nothing you can tell the man that he's not already gonna have thought of. I get the same feeling from Akima in this scene. It's like, okay, you've decided to engage in things in a certain way that is outside the normal lines that have been drawn for you. Are you capable of fully understanding that and fully taking responsibility for it and being fully honest about what that means and who you are? And if so, it doesn't make those things good necessarily, but it at least gives you some character. A lot of people kind of dabble in the truth, you know, they kind of go halfway where they let themselves and their morals and their behaviors slide while in a way engaging in a sort of willful ignorance about what that means and being a little bit delusional about themselves in that whole equation. It's also interesting that she's talking about the nation. Is that actually a priority for her or is that just because he was talking about Japan. This shot looks so familiar. No, no, I'm on to you. Speaking of closet badasses, I'm skeptical of their ability to pull this plant off without glasses. How are they going to summon the intelligence? Who and what am I looking at right now? In a weird way, he's got powers not dissimilar from Mirio. Yeah, I'm sure that'll never come off in the series. Ah, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Please don't. Okay. Wait, she's called the Angel Devil? That's interesting. Must be lonely for her. Well, about that. Okay, Hawks. Speaking of My Hero Academia. I feel like this is setting up for a massive cliffhanger. Was that future enhanced power? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Smush, smushy, smushy. Yeah, that was less grotesque than usual. 
Why do I get the feeling of like she can just see everything? Like how did she know to do that do that at that exact moment? Makima is so terrifying, I just am imbuing her with power she may not have. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. But she- wait, what? She stole it! That is so- such a cool extension of the snake's abilities, if I'm understanding it correctly. Damn. Okay, here it is. I was wondering about this. I wonder how- like a second? I mean, that's actually a huge edge. Huge advantage. So weird that he's fighting Ghost. This is not the glorious death that was predicted. It doesn't end here. And cliffhanger? Cliffhanger? Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like this one. I already know. Makima's getting so much- so many glamour shots this episode. Man, these endings always impress me. Everyone's favorite! Aww. I can't say exactly why, but I think that was one of my favorite endings so far. So all in all, it seems like this this episode was largely set up for this major encounter that's going to happen next episode, which I think might be the last one for now. But there's a lot of really key things that came out of it really quickly. So Aki getting the contract with the future devil. They just introduced a whole bunch of new characters in like two minutes. Maybe the most intriguing one for me being Angel Devil. Maybe Aki's future love interest seems like something was implied there spider lady who i could do without makima just like upping her role it seems in like the direct let's just call it what it is killing of her enemies with maybe is a key reveal about some part of her outlook on life though i think it'll probably get fleshed out a lot more later We're talking about it matters who is heading the state like who has keys to the whole thing to determine what actually is necessary evil what is justified evil denji and power completing their training it seems or a certain stage of their training. The fact that the snake devil, I might be wrong about this, maybe I'm getting it wrong, but she stole Himeno's ability, right? Or maybe it's not a function of the snake devil itself, but maybe Ghost just made a contract with her. But yeah, very, very excited for the next episode. I know it's gonna be insane.